Aloha and welcome to the beautiful Castle Theater at the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. In these challenging times, the MAC continues to creatively and consistently find a way to safely bring performances to our community. Over the past 19 plus months, if you cannot or should not come to the MAC, the MAC has come to you. Tonight we welcome Kula Evie as the latest artist to be featured as part of the Live at the MAC series, streamed weekly from the Castle Theater stage during this lengthy pandemic. The Live at the Max series has provided safe and accessible programming, support for our valued local artists, all while providing you 60 minutes of joy via the arts. Now, as infection numbers continue to fall, we are quickly and optimistically approaching the time when we can begin to return to in-person live performances. Stay tuned, because when it can truly happen safely on Maui, it will happen at the Mac. Please welcome Kula Evie. Aloha.
lovely pono and kukulei po kene ke. Mahalo, mahalo. Aloha, aloha mai kako. We are Kula Evi. My uh-huh. name is Sean, and this is Lehua, Lehua. and Kavika. Woo. We're so happy to be here live from the MAC, the Maui Arts and Cultural Center here on Maui. Um, gosh, it's been a while since we've been together, yeah? It's been good a while. To be, good to be back yeah. in the MAC. Back, back in, in the, the MAC. MAC. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rapping already. Rapping already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be here for the next hour or so <laughs> just doing uh, some music from our brand new release. Uh, it's called Kula Evi Native Lands. <laughs> And uh, you can pick it up uh, on all digital platforms. We also do have some uh, physical copies as well. But we're going to keep the music going. We're going to be sharing like a bunch of our our favorite songs that we've been doing over the years uh, collectively as well as uh, individually. And this uh, next song uh, features Brother Kavika Kahiapo. All right. Song that's become popular among our friends and family here in the islands. If my guitar can stay in tune. <laughs> <laughs> See, even the guitar is out of practice. It's like, what, what? Song from a friend of mine down in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Song called Kokoe Iyo with the Maori Hawaiians. Translation done by Auntie Mary Boyd and Moses Crab. Song called Ooe Iyo. Oe iyo e makualani Oe iyo kawaiola Oe iyo e kumuola Kamehanai
lebih ke gaya po. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites there. Yep, I love that one. <laughs> that is beautiful. Good to be with you guys again. Yeah. You too. I missed you guys. I missed you guys. Well, maybe not so much you. I missed you, Kalisa. <laughs> 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 no, just, just turn your chair that way. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be doing, um, like I said before, you know, some songs that we've been doing for years uh, collectively. For those of you that don't know, Lehua also plays with uh, Naleo. Or Naleo Pili Mihana. And um, this is one of the many songs that she's written for that group. Um, collectively. How collectively. many songs do you think we've written, all, t all, all of us, together? Oh, oh gosh. Like you alone is like 137. <laughs> Kavika is probably close to 122. Oh. So about 200. Yeah, something, yeah. Something choke. Like I that. just say choke. Yeah, choke. Catch up, Sean. Choke. Okay, catch up. okay, okay. <laughs> I will I'll start tonight. <laughs> but uh, this is one of our favorites. Uh, and Kavika actually played on the original. He did of when we recorded yeah. it back in '90. Don't say when. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs>
about you, baby. Yeah, all the time. Ooh, when I think. Original song from Lehua. When I think of you. Mahalo, so good, so good. I love that song. <laughs> yeah, we love playing it together too. So good, so good. I think we all like playing each other's music because there's nobody else here. So. <laughs> good, good thing we like each other. <laughs> <laughs> At least I like Kavika. I clap for you, I, I, and I, I clap for you, and you clap for him, <laughs> and you clap for me. <laughs> well, we want to thank the um, the staff here at the Mac for 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 coming in, uh, making us sound good, and making us look good, and turning on the lights and the air <laughs> condition and making the nice carpet and everything. Yeah, we're so happy to be here. Um, we are. We hope that you guys are enjoying us back home on, uh, on whatever uh, platform you're watching us on. You know. all, all kinds. All I kinds. Yeah. I honestly, I don't even know. Yeah, I think I think everywhere. You can find them everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're actually really looking forward to the time when there's live bodies here, too, because we, yeah. we miss playing for well, live we just We humans. just did a tour um, this past month. Um, through California and um, through Vegas, Vegas and where else? Port Portland, Portland, Seattle, yeah. yeah. And um, Seattle. we had so many people that showed up, and it was so awesome to be with that energy. Um, just kind of feel the the mana in the room, you know. It's been so too long, over almost yeah. two years, two years to have that many people, um, you know, in one place uh, safely. And now that we can do it safely, it's awesome. Um, but it's nice to be out sharing our music or our new songs and stuff. So we're back. Yeah, <laughs> we're back. Um, you want to tell about Ready or not. <laughs> uh, this next song we're going to do is a song that was written by a very, very good friend of ours, um, Miss Anue Nue Punua. And uh, she wrote this song entitled Ku'u Pili. And of course, you know, as we all know, Pili means to be close or to be connected to. And so this song was actually uh, the first song that we got to performed together with all three of us at Mary Monarch. It was Kavika Kahiapo's first time there a couple of years ago mm -hmm. when Mary Monarch was, um, was still live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, when was that, 2019? I think so, yeah. yeah. Gosh, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever, every year it was, and we've got to add two years yeah. for the last <laughs> two years. The last yeah. two years. Um, but this is a beautiful song, and uh, it just speaks about the one you love and about being as close as you can.
So like we said, um, that, that song's off of our new album as well. And um, you can also email us, yeah? What's the email? Absolutely. Uh, Kulaivi Music, K-U-L-A-I-W-I Music. Can you use, it in, a sen- can you use it in a sentence? Eh, Kulaivis. But uh, if you email us, um, we can uh, send you a physical copy as well. And um, not not just that. Besides that, um, we can email you the lyrics and the translations and all the liner notes as well. Yeah, yeah. because we know a lot of you um, buy it on the uh, what's that? The other platforms like, like yeah, uh, iTunes, iTunes and, Amazon, uh, and yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you don't always buy the physical CD. So we we put it all together in a nice document. Right, and you yeah. can just email us, and I will happily send that to you so that you get a deeper understanding of of who we are and what we are doing and the songs and the actual notes from the, the Hakumele, the composers of the song. So it's really quite special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. We'll, we'll talk a little bit later about um, how this whole group came about. But um, right now we're going to do a song that, um, actually I think the first radio station to play it was over here on Maui. It was um, Alaka'i. Mm. She oh. played this song yeah, on the radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this song talks about um, the beautiful one word side. Are you Alaka'i? This song talks about all the beauty. The beauty. Um, well, I wrote it for uh, the place that I'm from, Kaneohe. Speaking about the Ko'olau there and the the beautiful uh, waterfalls that come down the Ko'olau when it rains. But um, as Lehua always has to remind me that uh, Hilo, she thinks, is the best windward side here. Yes, but, it uh, is. It oh. is indeed. <laughs> it's two against one, right? Yeah. Because from Waimanalo, you know, on Oahu. So, uh, tai Tai. Tai Tai. Tai Tai. tai. Oh, and then, you know, <laughs> and there's Hana and, K- and uh, Ke and I on, on Maui. There is. That's, yes, that's yes, a beautiful yes, windward yes. sign. Oh, so. Yes, yes, yes. They're all beautiful. Yeah. They really are. So this one's for all the, the beautiful windward sides all across the Paiaina. Manu 
sings a song that we both know. Ki aloha in this place that fills my soul. Take it away, Kubikis. actually inspired by a, a song that uh, Kavika wrote for his his beautiful homeland over there on the Windward side as well, which uh, I think we're going to do that one later too. So, right. But right now we want to feature him on a, um, this is one of our, our, our favorite classic songs that we do um, in English. We don't do all the songs in English. And um, while we're on the road, we just said, ah, oh, this is such a good message because um you know, Pono is a, she's an educator. She works in the Department of Education um, in the Office of Hawaiian Education uh, for the Immersion Schools. And so we're talking about how it's so important that we lead our children and we teach them the right things. Um, you know, especially in this <coughs> world right now, there's so many crazy things going on. And we want to make sure that we're, um, we're feeding our children the right sorts of um, knowledge as well as, um, you know, good food. Yeah, from, right. from the Aina too, so... <laughs> But the knowledge that Ike is is very very important, and uh, this is one of those songs that talks about it. Yeah, the behavior part is important too. Um, yes. Jack Johnson has a saying: "You teach the kids to do what is right, then the future takes care of itself." Basically, yeah. yeah. So, yes, 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 yes. song called "Teach Your Children Well." Have a code that you can live by, and so become yourself because the past is just a goodbye. Teach your children well, their father's hell, it slowly go by. And feed them on your dreams The one they picked The one you know by Don't you ever ask them why If I told you you would cry Just look at them and say And you know Grew 
children out there teach them well yes, sir. I love that one I love that one for the kids for the kids yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. so I want to talk about like a um, how this group all came about um, I saw Kavika play uh, with his partner Joe Baranobis back home um, over on Oahu at the, uh, what was it? Made, ha- made in Hawaii. Festival. Made in Hawaii, coming yeah, up made soon. In <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming up. Hopefully they hold it again this year. But um, they were playing music, and uh, we we're just so moved by not only the music that he sings, but the, the message that he um, puts into his music. And it, it's all just so um, consistent, you know, with his lifestyle and um, through Hawaiian values, and, and which is something that we all live. Um, and... With Lehu and I, you know, we've been doing we've been doing this duo for uh, gosh, ten years maybe, yeah, yeah, around there, yeah, and um, so we've been we've been looking for somebody else to play on some of our songs, and we called up Kavika, and so he started coming into the studio and playing on some of these songs like Windward Side and and some of the other songs that we recorded, and uh, we just thought, wow, what what if we just did something all together, you know, what if we like did a tour or something together? So we called Kavika and talked to him for like maybe two hours that night. <laughs> And uh, just said, well, rather than put a tour together, how about we just play together? Yeah? <laughs> like, that was a no-brainer, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we, we started talking about how we want to write songs and uh, tell stories of um, not only our ancestors, but stories of today, too, to archive what's what's happening in our world, what's happening in our Lahui right now. And so we started um, brainstorming on 
all the songs that we could write, and uh, we all got on the phone and we, we said, well, we need a name for the... <laughs> Yeah, can it be Sean, one, Kavika, yeah. Lehua, or Kavika, Sean, and Lehua, <laughs> or Kavika, Lehua, and Sean? Can, or but wouldn't <laughs> fit on the album. Wouldn't <laughs> fit on the album cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, and so I, I don't know, it just popped into my head, the word Kulaivi, and, yeah. um, and I looked it up, because I was like, well, I think I know what it means, but I wasn't quite sure, so I looked, you know, different books, I looked up what it meant in different books, and... Um, Literally, Kulaivi is the place where uh, where the bones were actually buried in, in ancient times, and so, you know, Kula being a part of the of the structure of geology <laughs> mm. of the Mauna, you know, nice, a certain area. Nice, nice. Um, but then I, I thought deeper about it and about how you know. Uh, so if you're talking about the place where your bones rest, it's really talking about the place where your connection begins with between you and the land, you know, and and thought about how what we are trying to accomplish through our music is to to connect people you know to the aina to connect people to each other and to causes and to um, decisions and to issues that are very important so that our our lahui can continue to continue right. basically right? Right. Um, right and so uh and then also it just so happens that uh maybe it, maybe that's why it was kind of like in my <laughs> mind it, it triggered something in my mind but because kavigo is with us right. in his song waimanalo he uses that word kulaivi uh, ku aina, ku vahipana, ku ku kulaivi, right? So, um, it just it was magical. It just yeah. it fit, and it um, and magical. it looks nice on a on a logo too. It's just <laughs> one word, <laughs> which we do have on our album. We do. Did we mention we have a new album out too? <laughs> <laughs> and so, really, as musicians and songwriters, I think part of our mission is to um, is to tell stories. Basically, that's what we're doing. We're telling stories through our music. Uh, and we're fortunate enough to have some really, really good friends who are fantastic storytellers. Uh, for example, this next song that we're going to do, uh, Devin Kamealoha Forrest, a good friend of ours who lives on the island of Kauai. He wrote this song about a very special place there on Kauai, on the north end of the island named Makana. Makana is a sea cliff um, that in ancient times was known as a place where they held this Oahi ceremony. And that was a ceremony in which uh, young men would race up the side of this cliff. And when they got to the top, they would bundle together uh, sticks and brush and set them on fire and then go to the end of the cliff and throw them towards the ocean. And because the sea breezes would come up the side of this cliff, it would cause these firebrands to stay aloft for a very long time. And as they traveled through the air, they would spin and they would give off these showers of sparks. So it's said to be very beautiful. Um, but people below would try and catch these firebrands as they fell from the sky. And if they caught them before they extinguished in the water, they would then brand themselves with them. So Camilo took this, this imagery and he compared it to falling in love. And he says in his song, when you see the one that you love for the very first time, it's like seeing these showers of sparks in the sky. And when you feel them in your embrace, it's like feeling the heat of these embers against your skin. So we're going to ask uh, the lovely Pono to join us again to illustrate this beautiful song entitled Te Ahi O Makana. Okay. 
赤い毛合い赤い棒アポイアパンホピリカイリケクンクニベラケヤロアケクンクニベラケヤロアAll kinds of、uh, place names and, and、uh, Vahipana that we celebrate. And this next song, we turn it over to、uh, Brother Kavika, who's one of my favorites.、Here. Yeah, this song came about from a video shoot we did with Sarah Pahinui, Wamalalo, and he gathered a bunch of musicians. And I think the objective was to sort of recapture the magic that his dad, Gabby, had formed some 40 years prior to that with the backyard, iconic backyard jam. With guys like Peter Moon, p a l a n i v o n Arthur Isaacs, some of Gabby's boys. And、uh, when I got invited to the video shoot, I was inspired and wrote this song because now I'm a resident of Waimanalo. So I think if I was a resident of Kanioe, I probably would not have written a so prolific song for <laughs> what I call our Vahipana in Waimanalo, East Oahu. Anyway, a song called Waimanalo. There's a place that I come from on the east side of paradise where bloom meets blue and the ocean and sky become one. Where the mountains of the sea that call out to me come on over. The peaceful sound of the wave come rolling in. Why am I not alone? No other place to be. Why am I not alone? Loved by all who come to see. Kuva Hipana. Kukula Ivi, 
Ancestors came to know this place so fine Why am not alone? No other place to be Why am not alone? Loved by all who come to see Kukubahi pana kukulaibi Ain aloha few more songs uh, to share with you today but um, once again thanks for for joining us here live from the Mac from Maui Arts and Cultural Center we want to thank Art Vento yes Art thank you mahalo. yes thank you thank you and uh, mahalo to his awesome staff and crew here yes it's like a family here amazing we, uh, we just love coming over here it's just a good reason to, to, to come to Maui as well but great to work with technicians they make us sound better than we really are <laughs> and and look good too yeah, they, look good. they put the nice carpet down for us too everything. but um 
part of our mission, you know, to, to share stories, um, share mo'olelo. Mo'olelo doesn't only mean stories, but it also means history. And to tell the history of our people, um, and one of the, the infamous stories that we always share is story, the story of the, the overthrow of our, our last uh, reigning monarch, Lili Uokolani. And um, this song we wrote for her. And we thought if we had a chance to go back and write a letter to her at that time when the overthrow was happening, what could we say to her? And what would we say to her nowadays, you know? Um, we know that that decision that she made to save our people, to save our Lahui, is, um, was a very difficult one. And um, there are many tears that were shed, many songs that were written at that time. It was a very, very difficult time. And until today, it's still a very, very difficult time, a very difficult subject to talk about. But um, this song we wrote in tribute of her, a song simply entitled, Elili Uwe.
With those, with those stories, you know, we write new stories about um, things that are happening now. And uh, a couple of years ago, we all gathered up on the Mauna, up on Mauna Wakea, um, over on Hawaii Ale Moku Keawe, where we stood, um, stood with our elders, with our kupuna. And, um, you know, in protest of the 30-meter telescope to protect our, uh, our beautiful and sacred Mauna, our Pico of, of Wakea. And um, while we were all there, we, we decided to write some new songs. And, and this is one of the songs that um, came of this, uh, that Kabiko wrote. Yeah. The inspiring thing that really captured me was the uh, diligence and uh, commitment of Rakupuna, who at the time when the tensions was, was really escalating uh, and the threat of law enforcement was coming to physically enforce removal of individuals, uh, it was the kupuna, it was the elders that decided uh, they wanted to be on the front line. So there was a sort of color code layer of commitment. Like, in the, and, and the kupuna decided we'll be the first ones that when they come to remove people. Um, and that set the tone for all of the kia'i and all of the people who were there to witness firsthand the, how deep your commitment was if you were going to come and hold space and be a kia'i among those there on the mountain so um, this song celebrates their aloha and diligence and um, here we go a song called Eo Kukia Imauna
we stand in Kapu Aloha and then we make our stand Kupuna warriors put their lives on the line Eo Eo Kukia Ima Kupuna warriors Kukia Imana. Eu. Eu. Olha que aí, olha o cupuna. Capu aloha. Mahalo, mahalo. Well, it's uh, come to that time where we have to say uh, ahui ho until we meet again. But um, before we go, I want to introduce everybody in the band. On my far left, uh, on guitar and vocals, Mr. Kovika Kahiapo, all the way from Waimanalo. Oh. Ooh. Good to be here. <laughs> yeah. And in the no yes, in the middle over here, the lovely Lehua Kalima Alvarez Hello. from Kyokaha. Yeah. Uh, Moko Kiave. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and on my far right, Mr. Sean Pimentel from Kaneohe. Mahalo. Ko'olau poko. Four, four. Eo, eo, eo. Four, eo. Four. And we also want to uh, introduce our lovely hula dancer, the lovely Pono Fernandez, all the way from Ko'olau poko as well. Yeah. Um, so beautiful to have her. And... Um, be part of the group as well. Um, you know, we want to showcase hula so much because hula is such a intricate and important part of our melee. Um, I feel like it's like the other half of the song, mm -hmm. you know. And to have that and to show the the uh, the chemistry and the connection between hula and um, the the voice, the leo, and um, you know all the words and whatnot. Um, I think it's very very important to to showcase that. Uh, a lot of people treat hula as if it's just like. Um, you know, an adornment or, you know, something extra, but it, it really is very, very important to mm. us, you know, to our people. So we want to continue to highlight um, hula dancers from all over the globe. Um, and I uh, want to thank once again um, the awesome staff and crew yes, over here at the Mac. Nui. Mahalo thank to everybody here and to Art again for having us. We really, really yeah. appreciate you we guys this doing place. this. Yes, yes. Um, but we're going to end with this last song um, that Lehua wrote for uh, Monokia as well. I did indeed. Uh, Growing up in Kilkaha, as you so eloquently said, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mauna Kea was always a fixture in my life. You know, wake up in the morning, go to school, get on the bus, and there she is in all her glory every day. Um, a beautiful, beautiful uh, reminder that we are protected, you know, by this, this beautiful place that we live in. And uh, when all of this happened uh, on the Mauna, you know, Kavika wrote Eo Kukia Imauna for all of our kiai up there. And I, uh, I was asked to contribute a song if I had one. And I remember that I'd written this song about Mauna Kea many years prior. Um, I'd just never come up with a, with a melody for it. And so I was inspired to try and finish the song so that I could uh, kukua and uh, lend my hako to all of those who were trying to do the magnificent things that they were doing on the Mauna. And so this song just on a literal sense just speaks of the beauty of Mauna Kea and growing up um, not really realizing how lucky and fortunate I was to to live on her shores um, and at this age now realizing how very important she is not just to me but to the entire Lahui so we leave you with this last song um, but before we go we just want to remind you uh, to go on our website yes please yep, 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 yep. our website is coming and uh, yep. If not, you can email us, music at gmail.com. Yeah. We're on and, uh, Facebook. Yeah. And, and, we're on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram yeah. And very, very easy to find. So hopefully uh, we'll see you folks all soon in, in, real, in real life. In yeah. real, <laughs> real life. Yeah. 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 So we'll leave you at this last song. Mahalo again for joining us.
kulaidi yubeji afan aloha 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 aina